Hello YouTubers, thank you for joining me on this video. Uh, as you can see we are in 2024 and I've got a number of questions for you guys, see if you can uh, answer some of these. Uh, also, you may have noticed that uh, you know I've been slowly doing the place up where I live. So, I mean, I've got a new fish tank in the back. Uh, I've got, like, they're not posters, they are actually pieces of artwork. You can sort of see them up there. Um, and these ones in the back, I just think are kind of cool. They're like holograms. Now, as the pro process of you know self improvement and you know improving the area where I live happens, I wanted to build the the kind of new variant of myself, the new metamorphosis, and I'm still in the process of that. It's very very difficult to actually accomplish because uh, I have to break a lot of habits and that is uh, kind of the own curse that I've done on myself over the last uh, decade but you know things have improving uh, there's no doubt about that and things will uh, continue to improve in the future so here's a question for you right? it's the most basic question of all if you could change one thing about your life right now one thing about your life right now, what would it be? What do you think is the the most uh, important aspect of your life to change that would actually improve your life and make it uh, in a way where you can do things you've always wanted to do? So the process of this year for me right, is to work to a point in which I can actually begin to do things I've always wanted to do. I mean, for years I, I, I was never riding a push bike. You know, I used to ride them all the time, I used to enjoy them. I wasn't riding the push bike because you know spokes used to snap on me all the time. Oh fuck that. And then I found a way of actually, you know, engineering my own push bike and uh, you know designing it so the way I ride it, like jumping up and down pavements and on down stairs, etc. You know, being a general pain in the ass while I'm riding. Um, is something I can now do and it's something I've been waiting to do for many many years and I finally managed to do it um, sometime in October last year which was you know a big event for me really and then I started to do some stunts on it etc but you, with mountain bikes you can't do too many stunts because um, they tend to they're not like the old BMXs. If you had an old BMX from years and years ago, they used to have these uh, abilities to twist the handlebars all the way around and, and stuff like that. You can't do that on a, on a normal mountain bike because you'll snap off uh, the the gears, you'll snap off the, the body braking system and you cause a lot of damage. So it's not the same thing as riding the old BMXs, but you know you can do stuff like uh, going down mountains and on down hills and riding on different terrains and that's something i've been waiting to do for the last few years as well not as long as you know i've been waiting to ride a mountain bike again but for quite a few years other things i want to do is as i said self-improvement and get myself back on track into the the realms of what i really want to do with my life which is where i'm heading to at the moment so there's a psychological element of course and there's a physical element like being in good shape etc and then there is a knowledge of wisdom element to that which is understanding things, learning things, and then there's those, there's also the adventure elements of getting out there and doing stuff. Because I think if you don't have every single one of those in place, something's gonna give sooner or later. So let's just say you don't have, um, um, let's say a good ability to socialize, right? You will find that you tend to eat more, you'll get less healthy and you will begin to develop habits that you wouldn't normally do if you had a good social circle because having a bad social circle actually ruins your life in some ways so that people say you know having too many friends is bad well having no friends is also bad now i'm not saying i'm a complete loner but 
of course I've kind of neglected that over my life for quite some time as well and you know I need to get back on track there we're doing things maybe arts etc which is things I'm planning for this year and that really what this video about today is just um, you know a declaration a, dec a declaration <laughs> a declaration of um, my plans for 2024 and they, you know they're big. If I manage to pull it off, it's it's a big it's a big big victory. Um, probably one of the biggest I've ever pulled. So those are the ideas where I'm coming across, and I want to know what you guys would wish 2024 to be for you. I mean, what what's your plans? You know, what, what exactly do you want to do with your life? Because I, look, I'm I'm like 45 years old, right? And as I said, you know, the progression to where you, who you want to be is not linear. It's sort of like a graph where it goes up and down and you, you sort of fill one area, but you do something better in another area for temporarily. And then you fill in that area again and then you do something better in another area. Now, of course, uh, sometimes you do badly in all areas of your life and uh, that's when, you know, things go awry but over time if you're heading to one particular direction you will find that you eventually get there there's there's no doubt about that many years a few years ago I used to do a lot of weightlifting you know before the, uh, the all those lockdowns happened that closed down all the gyms and um, you know my, lo lots of people stopped going to the gym at that point and I was one of them I, it wasn't because of COVID or anything like that I never really paid too much attention to that it was the fact that the, the gyms were all closed so I couldn't go and then over the over time I stopped being able to train the muscles uh, and I lost a lot of the, the gains that I had managed to do in the gym back then like gaining some muscle and now I'm, I'm having to repeat that it kind of annoys me a little bit that I have to repeat the, the gains I made in the gym with muscle mass but you know I also have to get back into shape as well and I've, I've also started in the recent years to do swimming again uh, which is something I've always enjoyed um, I kind of like swimming with fins on which is <laughs> it's not necessary it doesn't really help you but I, I do find it helps with uh, strengthening the ankles etc and with mountain bike, the reason why I like riding a mountain bike, I know people find people ride mountain bikes annoying, I understand that. Um, but it's about balance for me, it's not like competition, I'm not trying to compete with the cars, I'm not trying to overtake them or anything like that. Um, I'm basically trying to learn how to keep my balance and to maintain good posture and balance and coordination. This is why I'm riding a mountain bike, because this kind of activity helps me to uh, achieve things I want to achieve in the future and I need I need a lot of the things I used to have of course as I'm getting older these are going to be more problematic but it doesn't necessarily mean everything has to be fucking downhill <laughs> okay anyway thank you for watching I'm going to make another video about another topic now so thank you for watching goodbye for now see you later mm -hmm.